Hello everybody and welcome back to Horizon Forbidden West where today we have to summon friends, I think that's the plan. Or am I like I don't know, it seems to say I need to go outside, but I don't think Whoever replaced parchment for this deserves a good hammering. Where do I put people? Oh, up here, okay, in the Gaia room. That makes sense. I was like, we could just meet out in the hall, like out in the the main room. Okay, maybe it's time to get everyone together so Tilda can brief us. But is there anything I should handle before that? Oh yeah, so there's the hint. This is the end. No, there's nothing I want to do. <laughs> I just want to. I want to finish the story, Dave. All right, people, I need you up in the control room right away. I'm sure I can run around after this. Okay, everyone. We all know what's at stake. Beta, Gaia. Not to mention life on Earth. Now it might seem like the Zeniths are invincible, but they're not. We've got what it takes to break into their base and defeat them. We even have one of them on our side. Tilda, show us the base. It is constructed atop the ruins of an ancient military facility on an island to the southwest. I can get us inside. To this location. Undetected. How exactly? You'll know when you need to. Once inside uh, our goal, not great. Will be this structure, <laughs> the launch tower. Gaia and Beta are being held at the top. But along the way, we will face overwhelming resistance. Most importantly, from Gerard, Eric, and the others. But also... Once I take away their shields, we should be able to deal with them. But it will be easier to deploy the device if someone else is carrying it. I'll need a strong back. Carry stuff? Yeah, I can do that. Even if your device works, there will still be Spectre drones scores. If you try to kill Erend, I'm gonna if be very only upset. An army to fight them. I've got that under control. You'll know when you need to. All right. This is not we'll meet up again just before we <coughs> Not a great team up thing. Where's the best place to rendezvous? On the coast, just across from the island. Once there, I'll show you the way. Like everybody should know. At least how how we're getting in and out. Okay. I'll let you know when I arrive at the rendezvous point. And then you like can this didn't me. tell us anything in the really. Time, do whatever you need to prepare. Understand? You know what I mean? Like we don't know how the device works. We don't know how Tilda's gonna get us in. Like we just pointed at a map and said we gotta go here. We already knew that. You two. A minute. Tilda helped me get in touch with Beta, and she told me something important. There's an installation inside the base. It's called a regulator. Here. Once we're inside, I need you two to split off from everyone else and destroy it. So you'll have to bring explosives. This will help stop the drones. Everything depends on it. You with me? After that, I want you to find a way to infiltrate the Zenith network. How? Go over all the data that Beta left behind. She knew how to do it, I'm sure of that. All right. But why? Uh, what am I trying to do? Find information about the Zeniths. Anything Tilda's not telling us. Silence is right about one thing. There's no way we can take her on her word. I'll do my best. Keep her safe, okay? On my life. <laughs> it's a baby ship, but it's there. 
I am always a fan of the of the beefy warrior and the like mage type, the intelligent nerdy type, I guess. <clears throat> But I'm not gonna wish that on anybody, because apparently if you fall in love in this game, you die. Or you lose your someone who's very important to you. Oh my gosh, we gotta <laughs> talk again. Intact if we want to take their shields down. I'll be gentle with it, I promise. Good. Without it. There's no payback. Don't worry. Payback's all I think about. Yeah, like I'm. She's taking this really well. Like she's taking his death really well, but it doesn't mean she's not into payback. Yeah. We're finally doing this. Never thought I'd be off on a mission to take down a bunch of immortals from the stars. I can hear the drinking songs already. <laughs> oh, earlier you mentioned something about Tanakh rebels and the Asuram, but we never really talked about it. I'm just saying, if you want to discuss it, you you let me know. Faro made the right call, you know, bringing you here. Thanks. Yeah, Varl. You know, I never knew he had a sister. I found out a few days before you guys went to, to Gemini. I was, uh, well, to be honest, I was terrified I'd screw up the mission somehow. So he sat me down for a drink, just one, mind you. And we talked about family. Vala, Ursa, loss and revenge. How you helped us. You know, we never did get that drink you promised back in the embrace. And you never told me exactly how your sister escaped the Mad Sun King. <laughs> I guess we never got around to it. World ending and all. And then me taking off. No time like the present, though. If you're up for it. Oh, can we really? Shoot! We should do that. If that one's not working right, you can have one of my spare focuses, you know. Yeah, little bugger's got some personality, that's all. Save my butt with those spectres. Wouldn't feel right to leave it behind now. You know, besides, it, uh, you know, it goes with my outfit. Yeah. Wouldn't want to spoil your look. Yeah, yeah. You think it's time for us to finally have that drink? Yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah, of course. Welcome. Oh. <laughs> Welcome to my front room where I have my drinks. So, how did Ursa escape Mad Sun King Jiran's palace? <laughs> Well, uh, first she had to survive the Sun Ring. See, during the war, the Karja threw a prisoner a day in there. And, you know, for what? To die as sacrifices, fighting machines in a pit. Thinking somehow that was gonna appease all the other deranged machines in the world? Ha! Nah. And when it was Ursa's turn, the Karja thought she'd go down if they threw a big machine at her. Oh, but she didn't. Yeah, she defeated all of them. Even got some of Jaron's kestrels for good measure. And the mad Sun King was impressed, <coughs> I guess. Thought it'd be funny to have her run around his palace as a servant. He enjoyed humiliating her that way. I remember you telling me something about that. That's how she met Avad. He helped her escape. Yeah, but, but what no Karja scroll will ever tell you is how the young prince snuck Ursa out of the palace. He knew their best chance was to get Ursa to blend in, so... He got her everything she needed to disguise herself as a Karja noblewoman. I get perfumes, veils, and all. I get the feeling she wasn't too happy with An that. An awesome woman and... Oh, man. Ursa would have yeah. rather fought her way out of that palace yeah. with her bare hands than put on all of that Karja eye paint. But Avad insisted it was the only way, so she agreed <laughs> under one condition. Avad had to dress up as... Ah! Well. She made Avad dress up like a noblewoman? As perfumed and powdered as a babe. Ursa said he looked better like that than he ever did in a I crowd. bet you he could pull that you off. Would, uh, definitely make for an interesting sight. Oh, I worked like a charm, too. Not only did they make it out of the palace, 
They paid a traveling merchant to get Ursa to the border, and none were the wiser. Oh, we're gonna get wasted right before the mission. You were right. That was a story best told over a drink. All good stories are. Good. I'm glad we get to have a moment with Aaron. Because it feels like things have gone fast and Aloy just needs to take a minute. I guess I should get going. I'll see you at the rendezvous. I kind of forgot about with my hammer ready. <clears throat> Avad. I wouldn't have it any other way. Excuse me. But uh, he's the one that I'm like, he's attractive also. But I've been loving, like, loving on uh, Catalo, I guess, is one way to put it. <laughs> I've been, if, I guess, I ain't Catalo more, but that's because he's here. Avad's not bad. Especially because that fits my, uh, like, scrawny, you know, skinny, intelligent person and, like, buff, also intelligent person, warrior type. Cool. Cool beans. Golding. That's not gonna help me. I hope everybody's ready for this. Fighting the Zeniths isn't going to be easy. Aloy, nothing you do ever is. At least now you don't have to do it alone. <laughs> Thanks. I am worried about Erend. Because uh, Silence is like, oh yeah, it doesn't explode anymore. But he's like making somebody else carry it so that he can activate it from further away. I'm a little concerned. Everyone here. Training, working together. If it weren't for Varl, none of it would have happened. You know, there was this one night, right before Varl left with you to go to Gemini, he realized I was having trouble sleeping. I was nervous about Look the mission. Look at him doing all this. To be honest, I think we both were. So, he asked me to join him in Gaia's dome. He brought up this hologram of Earth that you two found back in the Zenith launch facility. We sat there, just looking at it. I thought about how Plainsong was just a speck on that great sphere. How every corner of it must be teeming with life. And any fears I had about our mission were gone. I miss him terribly. I know. Apparently, I know, honestly, like, I think Ayla is right, right? Like, she was always busy doing the big picture stuff, but Varl was the one who insisted on being with Aloy and following her all the way out here and bringing their friends and making new friends and making alliances, like that was his deal. Aloy was just like, I'll do the door opening and stuff, you know? Um, and apparently two different instances of people being nervous and Varl was there, like more than Aloy. Aloy is not much of a comforter, you know, type person. That's just not how she is and that's fine. But Varl was the one who would be that he knew what everybody needed to hear, what they needed to see you know, to be comfortable. He was the one who kind of brought Beta into the fold too, you know? So, I don't know, he truly was, like, it's only now maybe that we're like really appreciating it, hearing these stories now that he's not here, but like he was an integral part of all of this, and apparently in more ways than even Aloy saw, you know? You and Aaron seem to be on better terms now. He may have terrible taste in music, but he did apologize for mocking my tribe. And that ale he keeps raving about isn't half bad. I still plan on beating that stubborn face of his to break our sparring stalemate. Try not to hurt him too bad. I should go. I'll let you know when I'm ready to head to the base. Before you do, there is one favor I would ask of you. What is it? You place this focus in my care and gave me the highest calling an Utaru has ever known. If I should fall in battle, I'd like you to be the one to bury my seed pouch. For the both of us. So... Oh. Make sure you stay alive to do so. Let's just try to all come back home. Okay? 
I kind of like that she's not like, oh, I gotta stay safe, you know, because I'm caring, but I'm like with child. Like she still has her life to lead outside of having a child. And I like, like a part of me is like, you know, oh, maybe she should stay back. But like women hate, they hate that. They hate that. Like they want to defend their homes too. You know, she wants to avenge her lover. Like who am I to tell her what to do with herself and her family? You know, like, and like the, the, the I don't know. Her life is not more valuable to, like, live and die as she chooses more than the child's oh, is. Like, that little tiny so little pumpkin good. seed or whatever that's inside of her, you know? Like, she still has... She has things to do, and she can't let anything hold her back right now, you know? And I, I appreciate that, honestly, a lot. So, how are we feeling about the mission? I do not know everything that you have planned. But it doesn't matter. All that remains is to follow you to the end. Whatever that will be. Thank you, Katalo. I'm glad all this brought us together. You brought us together. And I am grateful too. I love him. Oh, and by the way, I was hoping now would be a good time to go back to the Tremor Tusk site and test my new arm before we leave on our mission. Right. I'll let you know when what? I make my way there. Thank you. Uh, we already did that, my good guy. Now that training time is over, what's on your mind? The bulwark, the Kulrut, and how we need another miracle if we're to survive the Zenith base. I'll try not to let you down. I know you will not. Thanks. We didn't really get to talk about what happened at Gemini. There was nothing more to say. If he were to knock... Varl's bravery would have earned him sacred burial at the Grove, among the most distinguished of our tribe's warriors. His deeds were worthy of the Ten. When the fight is done, I will have the Inkers etch his memory on my skin, so that it may live on. Ooh, I like that. I'd be honored. I like that a lot, actually. I'll see you soon, then. Different ways of... It will be my honor. ...carrying a legacy, you know? You have the seed pouch, you have a child, you have art, you have ink, you have stories engraved on a skin, you know, like on your skin. Like, a skin sounds kind of weird, but like, you know. Let me just make sure I, we do not, uh-huh. Uh, yeah, no, we did. We did his quest with the Tremor Tusk. It was up here. Yeah. Yeah, uh huh, yeah. Alright, I think it must be a bit of a glitch. Because uh, cause we definitely did that. And it's not, like, unless, I don't know, unless the game is just like, ooh, hang on, let's look. Would it be under side? Yeah, what was lost? Haha, ha, we did do it. <laughs> he just made a pfft, I can't do it pfft, noise. You nervous? I'd be lying if I said I'm not slightly apprehensive. The plan will work if we all focus on our assignments. Right. The rest of us should be enough of a distraction to the Zeniths for you to hack into their network undetected. But you'll have to be quick, in case they do. Uh, what exactly do you expect me to find, Aloy? I don't know. The truth, if we're lucky. Vague is to be meaningless. Once all this is over, will you go back across the ocean? 
I don't know. Don't ask about our future plans. The more I think about it, the more worried I become. If I go back, I don't even know if they'd let me keep this focus you gave me. Or what they do to me for reading what is clearly forbidden data. Even if I somehow were allowed to carry on my duties as a diviner, would I be willing to let the truths I've learned about the ancestors be buried away by the Board of Overseers? Would I dare challenge them and risk my family's safety? Or losing Vadera? A lover? Who's this Fidera you mentioned? She is another diviner. One of our best. We used to be rivals at the academy. Rivals to end to... <laughs> I hated her guts, Enemies to lovers, I love it. Apparently there is a fine line between hate and love. We became very close, and then I was assigned to the expedition. She promised she'd wait for me, no matter how long it took. Well, that was smart of her. She won't do any better. Nice. Yeah, I don't know about This that. ruins the ship, though. <laughs> I do. Which is fine. It was a tiny, tiny one anyway. <laughs> I want you to know I'm glad you're with us, Alva. Whatever happens, I'm grateful that the legacy brought us together. I never thought I'd get to actually meet an ancestor. Come on, do I look that old? Uh -huh. Katala will protect you inside the Zenith base. I'm not afraid. I know Katala will fulfill his duty, as will I. If we die doing so, at least it'll be alongside a friend. I'd rather you both stay alive, if you don't mind. We'll try and keep that in mind. I mean, I'm sure that's everybody's preferred outcome. I need to get going. Man, I'll be at the rendezvous. There has been so much talking May lately. Truth lead us to victory. Even the big Regala fight was like three cutscenes. Uh, this this is not my room, but I need to make sure I poke my stuff. So, you return. Hi. Something else? Apparently not. I'll be going. As you wish. Okay, I guess not. What door? I can read this later. Ooh, this one. Elizabeth and Tilda had a history. The more I learn about her life, the more complicated it seems. I guess she saw something good in Tilda. I don't know what exactly, but seems like it was enough. For a while, at least. Love fades sometimes. Or other things become a bigger concern. Oh, I miss Moral. It still hurts to think about him. I don't know if the pain will ever really go away. When I find that bastard, Eric, I'm gonna make him pay. I don't think it ever really goes away. It does dull with time. But it's still there, <clears throat> waiting to stab you. In any moment, ah, <clears throat> I'm sorry. Oh. Aloy, shall we chat some more? Maybe. Would you like to continue our chat? Nope. I should be going. I'll be making final preparations. Okay, I want to go really fast and see if I can talk with Varl. Let's sit out this way. Yes. Well, I was thinking too, like Varl helped, you know, he helped Zoe, he helped Aaron, and he helped... Aloy, not just in, like, like I'm talking, like, the emotional way that he helped it, the other two in specific ways. He helped her, you know, come to terms with Ross's loss. Ross's loss. 
and he does get a beautiful view. You honestly can't ask for much better than this. Mountains, the desert, the red rock is where I'd like to be buried, honestly. Hey, Val. It's almost time to sneak into the Zenith base. Rescue Beta and Gaia. I don't know how it's gonna go. I really wish you could be there. To help. Well, um... This is so long. For now. Bye, buddy. Breathe deep. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I mean, hopefully I cut out all this. <laughs> so many. <laughs> I believe in you, Aaron. I probably just could have gone out the other way. <laughs> Gotta do things the orderly way, the way that the icons tell me. Honestly, I hope more games implement Ghost of Tsushima's snowing soon. method of doing things. <clears throat> With no icons at the top, really, but you can, like, like, what do you call, like, the, um sort of natural, I don't know, like intuitive sort of way of looking where there's no like thing across the top of your screen or icons necessarily, but how you could use the wind to like, you would select where you wanted to go and then the wind would take you there, you know? I liked that a lot. I need a fast travel pack, more fast travel, so... I might, actually, I don't think I can, yeah. Oh no, I can? Okay, I can. I was like, oh no, I should totally have enough. <laughs> I could take a Sunwing. <clears throat> but, actually, what I'm going to do is call this one here. Wow, I almost just took the heck off uh, without even thinking about the time. But, <clears throat> thank you all for joining me. I appreciate it. Sorry, it's been a lot of, like, them talking and probably me talking, too, because I do that. Um in the little interludes but uh thank you all so much for joining me i appreciate it we're nearly to the end now this is very exciting so thank you all again for watching i appreciate it really quick i want to say thank you to my patrons to all my patrons but to especially Reese Galito and my sapling tier patron thank you so much for your support and an extra special shout out to adam my tree tier patron thank you so so much for your support my friend i really appreciate it a lot and I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, my tree tier patron, or sorry, my, blah, have it, my forest tier patron, who has gone above and beyond in his support, and I honestly appreciate all that you do with the comments and just the support on Patreon and everything. It's, it's above and beyond, and I really do appreciate it. So thank you all again for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.